Alright, now that we're into this next episode here, I will go ahead and heal the Pokemon here. And we are going to do a little exploring in Vermilion City before we head off to the SSN. And let's talk to this girl here. And she talks about if we have an urge to fight a trainer again after a, after a time. So we can take him on over and over and stuff. She'll give us the Verse Seeker, which uh, basically allows us to uh, rematch other trainers. And stuff. Yeah. So we will head on out here in order to go make a little bit of a trip to the Poke Mart. Because frankly, I need to grab a few poison heals or antidotes, whatever. Okay. Oh, not that much. I think six. Yeah, we're, we'll work with that. And we gain the antidotes and stuff. So yeah, we take one out, and I think we'll make a trip, quick trip to the Pokemon Fan Club. In which case, an old guy will talk to some old guy. But not yet. We'll talk to a few of the other people first. I just adore my seal. It's so lovable. It's so cute when I hug it. And there it goes. And you know what? I'm just going to switch it over to Cannon to the front real quick. And there we go. And let's talk to this guy here. <laughs> my Pikachu is twice as cute as that one. <laughs> yeah. And the chairman's vocal, and now we will talk to this guy. <clears throat> I share the Pokemon fan club. I raised more than a hundred Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon, I surely am. So, did you come visit to hear about my Pokemon? Yeah, sure, why not? Good. Then listen up. My favorite Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it's stunning. Kindly love it. Hug it when sleeping, warm and cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And we see receive the bike voucher so we can get a free bicycle. Alright. Take that bike voucher to the bike shop in Cerulean City. Exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Don't worry, my favorite barrel will fly me anywhere I need to go, so I have no need for a bicycle. I hope you like cycling, and we will like cycling, but we'll uh, get to that later since, um, <clears throat> well, since we need to um, get a few things. Like, for example, we will go and head over to do an area by right here. I'm putting a building on this part line. I own it all. My Pokemon is tramping the land. I lay the foundation. And we talk to a shop who's apparently doing all of the, the dirty work. Yeah. That's all that. And now we will head into this building here so we can talk to the fishing guru. A guy who's obsessed with fishing and useless fish. And all that. So we get the old rod. Which allows us to catch useless fish, obviously. The reason why I say useless fish is that is that the only reason, only thing the po the old rod can catch are magic carp, and they are useless fish. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try using it, and right away, not even a nibble. Okay, I'm gonna need if you register this onto the select button and do it again. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, look, it's got a hook with them on the hook. Yeah, and it's a useless fish. Magic car. Great. Go, Cannon. Now we use a Mega Punch on his face. And it takes it out with one hit. Uh, no surprise. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm gonna keep trying to catch it. Now, you're wondering, probably wondering why I'm trying to catch a Magikarp, despite the fact that it's a useless fish. Well, for one, it's uh, for my Pokedex, and for another, I don't know, it's just uh, because it's free, and I don't want to buy, and I don't have to pay 500 
bucks for a, for a useless fish. So, yeah. Just mainly for uh, Pokedex purposes. And, you know what, I think I can probably take the catch it with a Pokeball, so I'll use a Pokeball. Go! And we will catch this fish. And, oh yeah, caught the Magic Ball. Alright. And we will read its Pokédex data. In a distant past, it was so much stronger than the horribly weak descendants that exist today. Wait, it was stronger in the past? What the heck happened to make it all so weak? Uh, well, I guess we'll never know, will we? Alright, I'm gonna see if I can try na naming a useless fish. Maybe... Um... Uh, Okay, you know what? I got another idea. I think I'm gonna name it... Wait for it... Fish. We're gonna nickname it Fish. Alright. So there we go. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and deposit Fish into the, uh... Into the PC. Because I don't want it in my party. Because it is a useless... Fish. Seriously, that never gets old. Alright, depositing fish into the PC box. Alright, so that takes care of that, and we will head onward out here, and we will proceed onward to the SSN. Here we go. <clears throat> the SSN is a famous famous luxurious liner, it occurs once a year. Welcome to the SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? And I sh flash the ticket to the guy. Great, welcome to the SSN. Welcome to the SSN. And that's all he says forever and ever. I think. So we will head onward to the SSN to get acquainted. Let's talk to this guy here. The passengers are restless from the long voyage. You might be challenged by the bored ones. Yeah, so anyway, this is my room, which I can heal my Pokemon in. And we will head onward in here to battle this guy. I am but a solitary traveler. My sole companions and friends are the Pokemon I cut on my journeys. Yeah. And that's what this guy says. So it's a gentleman, which apparently has a lot of money, and he brings out a Coralic, a Pokemon we have never seen it before in this in this let's play. So yay for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over to Cannon because Cannon has a super effective advantage on him. But ah crap, he used Roar. What Roar does is basically uh, switches the Pokemon to another one in my party and pretty much uh, screws up a person's strategy. So I will use Quick Attack and yeah, all that stuff. So Quick Attack again, we'll take out the Growlithe, the Fire Puppy. That might be something good to catch later. But we'll, we'll worry about that when it comes. Anyway, I'm really going to bring out Cannon again. And he will. He brings out another Growlithe. The Fire Puppy. Yes. So I will use the Water Pulse of Awesomeness on the, on the Fire Puppy. And we take it out with one hit wonder. Oh, God. And Cannon grows to level 22. Sweet. And we defeated the gentleman. My, my friends! What have you done to my friends, you bloody mother? And we get out of here, out of here before he finishes the sentence. Oh, another old guy. Crap! You excellent pup! How dare you barge in! Yeah. So, we're gonna basically take on this other gentleman. And who apparently has Nidoran. And I will bring up Buckle. 
But I'm gonna bring out, uh, try to switch it to Cindy because it has a, she has a good type advantage against the Nidoran. Yeah. And we will use this power to awaken. Actually, well, I'm just gonna use uh, a magnitude on this guy. And use the magnitude with a power of eight to take it out with one hit. Wonder! Alright. If I seem to be repeating itself, it's. I apologize. But. I, hopefully, this is entertaining for you. Entertaining for you. Yeah. So now, he brings out another Nidoran, but female. And. Oh, crud. He's using a, using a double kick. Super effective, but not effective against me. Oh, guy. So I will use a, a dig on the Nidoran female. And. Yeah. That misses. And we will use it with a one hit wonder. Buddy boy. And. We get XP and the art, and we defeat the gentleman. Huh, you rude child. You have no sense of courtesy. Yeah, that takes care of that guy. And we will head out here to talk to this waiter. Bonjour, I am the waiter on this ship. I will be happy to serve you any time you please. Ah, the strong salad type. Yeah. So, anyway, um, you, I'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick. And also, if you happen to like my videos, like comment and subscribe if you want to and that will be the end for this uh, set for uh, Pokemon Leaf Green. In the next episode I will continue to explore the SSN. Until then, this is DreamerMan509, see ya baby! Bye.